everyone and welcome yourselves back to the YouTube channel and today to talk about something that's been a, it's just been in everyone's mind in the Walking Dead universe. It's been on everyone's thoughts and minds, whether it's going to happen or not, and whether it's the right move at the same time. And that discussion is this. Will Rick Grimes appear in Sunday's series finale or the season finale of season 11? And how storyline wise does this make sense? Subscribe, like as always, and let's delve deep into The Walking Dead's history since Rick Grimes left, his connection to the CRM, and if he'll return on Sunday. Spoilers ahead and enjoy. So, Andrew Lincoln left the show three, four years ago because he wanted to be close to his family and move back to the UK, um, where since then he's obviously regretted it and wish he'd never left the show, and obviously will be having a spin-off show with him and Denai Gurea as Michonne in 2023, so he is coming back, but, you know... It's one of those things, right? People constantly annoy me with this. Oh, Rick should appear, Rick should appear. Don't get me wrong, I'd love it if he appeared. It's I, I think Andrew Lincoln did a phenomenal job with the role. But at the same time, <clears throat> it's not his finale anymore. It's nothing to do with him. The only way I'd accept Rick Grimes coming back is, is, is in a post credit scene. His... Look, at the end of the day, Andrew decided to step away. It, it... It shouldn't be about him anymore. It's about Norman. It's about uh, Melissa McBride. It's about Lauren Cohen. It's about Jeffrey Dean Morgan. It's about Cassidy. It's about Carrie Payton. It's about everybody else because they've chosen to stick around. They chose to, to, to stick around for the long haul. Unless they were killed off, that's a different choice. Stephen Young stayed until his comment, accurate death. Um, Jeffrey Dean Morgan's gone above and beyond his character. Norman Reedus wasn't even a character in the comic books. Um, Chandler Riggs was killed off earlier than expected and so much more has happened so why does Rick Grimes deserve to be in the finale and I say this the only reason why he deserves to be in the finale is because this was his show he's the one who started it he's the reason why it's so popular he's the reason why anyone even ever watched Walking Dead him and Lenny James started episode 1 together and Andrew Link continued it meeting all the other characters becoming this amazing leader through the seasons, through the prison, Alexandria, through the savior storyline. Um, his chemistry with Norman and everyone else was brilliant. And <laughs> ultimately, I think there's multiple ways you can look at this, but I, I, I think Lincoln, because he was in Atlanta when they were filming it, he will feature. But I think the best... Thing for the show and to tease his appearance in the show next year and the CRM is him maybe rocking up to Alexandra in his CRM costume and maybe finally coming home uh, as sort of like the epilogue to his story I think that would be cool instead of it being in between and then him taking over and becoming this villain that people are speculating I think it would be the best fit if he rocks up in his his story is ended and he reunites with Judith and it's sort of a happy ending at that point. And the show next year fills the, the, the void between when Michonne found the, the letter of Rick Grimes. Um, honestly, it's a very hard thing to predict whether it will be him reuniting with Judith or whether he'll be the villain and then they will take people prisoner to the camp that we saw in Worlds Beyond. It's very difficult to see them going down another villain route after beating the Commonwealth. But The Walking Dead is no strangers to doing villain after villain, after having to doing the Governor for multiple seasons, um, the the Hunters and Terminus, and then going on to um, the Wolves, and then you went on to the Saviors, and then you went on to the Whisperers, and now you're on to the Commonwealth. So it would not surprise me if the overarching storyline in all these spin-offs is to do with the CRM and Rick and him being this leader who's trying to break free from them and ultimately become the person he once was and reunite with his friends, his family. And you've got to admit, the finale to all these spin-offs 
as a discussion for another day. But you have to realize that whatever this post credit scene is, it will either be the end of his story coming back to Alexandria, or it will literally be his first appearance and the reason why the Michonne and Rich storyline exists next year. And that may be multiple seasons. So there's a lot to think about. There's a lot to play with. But ultimately, my definitive answer is Rick Grimes will appear in the finale. I think that's um, my best guess because, as I said, it's his show. He started it, and it's only right that Lincoln appears in some shape or form, but it has to be in a post credit scene and not in the main form episode, as I think it will overshadow Norman's appearance, Rosita's, and Kristen, Kristen Ceratos, and everyone else's, as they deserve the episode more than him because Andrew Lincoln decided to step away. But... Whatever fits best for storyline purposes, I will be all for it. So you guys let me know down below in the comments. Are you hoping for Andrew Lincoln to appear as Rick Grimes in the episode that is set to air on Sunday? The series finale, the final ever Walking Dead episode before the spin-offs. How do you think he will not appear? And if you do think he'll appear, how do you think he'll appear? Do you think he'll appear at the end of the episode and a post credit scene, one of the final scenes? What are your thoughts? We're going to do a couple more videos this week on Walking Dead as we build towards the finale and the Walking Dead week on my channel is next week where we start season three and multiple other things going forward. So stick around for that. And of course, subscribe and like. Goodbye.